For some of the biggest stories in the markets, we welcome in Kevin Hanks, senior equities contributor here on Schwab Network. So we'll start off with Kroger Albertsons and the FTC stepping in, working to block this. Um, I don't think it comes as a surprise. No. They haven't really been very supportive of mergers in the first place. What are you learning today? Hey, Nicole. Yeah, no one is really surprised by uh, the FTC trying to block this merger. It was the $24.6 billion merger between Kroger and Albertsons. Now, the FTC came out with their statement and said blocking the, uh, this merger would lead to additional grocery price hikes for everyday goods, further exacerbating the financial strain on consumers. It would stifle competition, it would raise grocery prices, and it would harm workers and product quality. Now, uh, Kroger came out with a statement saying, contrary to the FTC statement, blocking the merger would harm the exact people that the FTC purports to serve consumers and workers. Now, nine other um, states and municipalities blocked this. It was Arizona, California, Illinois, Maryland, Nevada, New Mexico, Oregon, Wyoming, and the District of Columbia. So a back and forth on who exactly would be hurt and who would gain by this merger, but you're right, Nicole, not shocking at all. And think about this, Nicole, with this merger being blocked, with the other mergers being blocked, as you know, and now um, Capital One trying to buy Discovery, what are the odds of that being blocked? I would say hi, Nicole. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. This is a $25 billion deal. Yeah. And really, you're not really seeing much movement in the stocks. No, Kroger right. Kroger down 1.7% and ACI up just uh, fractionally, let's say. And I saw the White House saying that President Biden believes large corporations must be checked by healthy competition. And President Biden is committed to lowering grocery costs for all families. Um, so with, this is an ongoing story. But, uh, you know, I, as you noted, um, we'll have to wait for the latest developments. In the meantime, you're taking a look at another name and that's Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire, um, some yeah. thoughts there after we heard from them. Berkshire Hathaway had put earnings out over the weekend. They normally come out, as you know, over the weekend. And Warren Buffett started his presentation with a tribute to Charlie Munger, who he described as the architect, the true architect of Berkshire Hathaway. You know, he also talked about their $167 billion cash pile and saying that he's having difficulty picking new investments. He said he has no interest in buying all of Occidental Petroleum, increasing their 23% stake. He, he mentioned they have big successes in insurance. He talked about Coca-Cola and American Express. He talked about five Japanese trading companies. He also talked about trouble in energy and freight rail businesses. But yes, $167 billion in cash. And Nicole, he's having trouble finding what to do with it. Finally, there is a supposed rumors of a mystery investment that they have no mention of the investment in either the, their statement or their filings. No mention yet, of course. And everyone thinks it's something financial, but no mention from Warren Buffett on that uh, mystery uh, investment, Nicole. Yeah, that, that makes you wonder, what is it, right? I mean, of course, eventually when they do their filings, we'll find out what it is. Mm -hmm. But um, that certainly leaves us guessing. Thank you so much, Kevin Hanks. Good yep. to see you.